Well, I think some minorities feel insecure and because the media and everybody has blown up certain issues. Now, people have been saying, oh, the minorities are insecure. Why is that? They said lynching and all that. I studied the data. Now, Dr. Ranganathan of JNU has given the data. There are many cases where Muslims are killed, Hindus for protesting cow slaughter. In Kundapur, the Hindu was killed, they butchered in front of everybody. In South Kendra district, my friend who goes there every time tells me, old woman and young woman stay there, open, look after the temple cows. And there are stories which has come in Swaraja, where a woman with 45 cows, 40 cows are taken away by the jihadis in the evening, in the night. She's got no cows left. So cows are being robbed and butchered, and people are angry and people are upset. It doesn't mean they must indulge in violence or anything else. So there have been 45-50 incidents of the so-called lynching. Half of them are bogus. There have been equally 45-50 incidents where Hindus have been killed. So who is running this media? That all the leftist media, the Lutyens media has created a narrative, Adi is intolerant. I am not intolerant. All of us, the great majority, 99% of people are living exactly the way they were living earlier. In this country, all over India, at 4.30 in the morning, the Azan is sung. At 5.30, the temple bells, bells come. At 6.30, the Gurudwara opens. Has it changed the last five years? It's been happening for a thousand years. Now, in front of my house, there, near my house, there are five mosques. I hear them. Now, do you think I like somebody saying that their God is the only God and praying? For, I don't like it. But I accept it because I believe they are my neighbors. I must accept them. They follow their religion. They follow their tradition. We must live together. So all of us are living together. Now, they're putting this fear into the minorities because the minorities have become a vote bank. I would appeal to all Muslims, my Muslim friends and Muslim brethren all over this country. They're all, we're all, they're all brothers and sisters, let's admit it. We're all citizens of India, we've got equal rights. You must look after your interest. You must decide what do you want in your, as a citizen. You want access to education, you want access to jobs, you want housing, you want good qualities of life. You're free to practice your religion. Nobody can amend the constitution, take away anybody's rights. After the Keshwar and the Bhati case, nobody can do it. Let's be clear about it. Now, you need all that. Now, you are being stampeded and fear psychos come and say, vote for me. Now, Sachar committee said very clearly, this vote bank politics has only destroyed you, made you poorer. Now, you must stand up for your rights and get more money, get everything else for you, instead of just getting into this fear psyche. There is no large scale program against Muslims, no large scale programs against Christians. And for the Christian communities, what is the problem? The pastors from America and Europe are coming here, converting people. They're converting poor people. And I object to that. They came to my relative's house to convert a close relative of mine. They came several times. And there, the relative's mother welcomed them because they are guests. We have welcomed them as Hindus. They came and they started pestering her. Then she said, I'll tell the police. And then when one of my very close, very, very close relatives was in hospital, they came and told, oh, you'll not go to heaven because you are not worshipping this God. You are a devil worshipper. You be convert, you'll go to heaven. This rubbish is a threat. They came and tried to convert him. Till that person, I say, I'll call the police. They go to hospitals to try to convert people. They come to your home to try to convert people. They're all bogus. It is not the Catholic Church. It's not the Catholic Church, the established church. They're good people. It's not the Jesuits. They're good people. But it is this pastor's new age church because a lot of money is coming. Now, the SNR is not going away together, has reduced the money. They're buying people, they're buying souls. There's a budget for them to go buy people, convert them. And the budgets are controlled by American churches. You can name all those churches. You can see them in the YouTube. And they abuse Hindus. I seen a YouTube where they take a photograph of Lam Rama, break it down, and ask the person to piss on that. Will you accept it? Now, if somebody, Hindu does it to somebody, will you accept it? This is the kind of rubbish that goes on. And then the brother in law, the son in law of a uh, political figure in Andhra Pradesh is saying, oh, I'll stop the rain, I will do this, all kind of rubbish. They have healing camps where the women come and shake and all, they're all bogus. And they come and say, oh, there, they will, we will, you know, cure them, cancer will be cured. It's like the Mother Teresa's miracle, there are no miracles in life. If you have cancer, you pray to Mother Teresa, it doesn't go away. That woman who did that is gone. We are all rational people. Yeah, sure. Now, these are all things happening. Now, we must, we, I protest this, I contest that. And these are all bogus. Now, you people locally protest against and said, you can't abuse us, you can't do this. That is not uh, going against anybody. They have a right to protest. There should be no violence. Let us be clear. Any violence should be punished under law. Now, what we need is the rule of law. The tragedy of this country is justice comes late. It takes 10, 15 years to prosecute. Lalu's um, conviction has gone, appeal has gone, Supreme Court still not been heard. So, if you take 15, 20, there's no justice. We must give justice to people. Young Muslims have been picked up on, on, on charges of being terrorists. There's no justice done to them. Now, if you pick up somebody and say he's a terrorist, there must be a trial and justice must be done in three years. Now, they're in jail for 10, 15 years. 
Now, we had this sad case of a killing in Musafar Nagar. First of all, none of us know where Musafar Nagar is. So, it's a remote place. Somebody went and killed. Now, pe are people asking, why is justice not done to the family whose member was killed? Where is the justice? It was in the SP government, but there's no justice. People are not asking justice. Because like vultures, they all came, they fed, and they said India is intolerant, this is happening. Then they went away. But nobody is asking about justice. Why is the court case not over? Why are those people not punished? Why is there no justice being done? We need justice. And we must all ask for justice. If justice is done in three years, the justice system works, India will be a different country. So I don't think uh, minorities have cause for fear. They have rights under the constitution. The rights cannot be taken away. The basic structure of the constitution cannot be amended by anybody. If some government comes to power with 542 seats, you can't amend the constitution. You can't take your right. Now, if you want to live in fear, that is your problem. But I would urge you, stand up as an Indian and ask for your rights. And there is a minority, Article 29 and 30, you are given special rights. Now, I am also a minority. Look at the discrimination that's happened. I am a linguistic minority as a Konkani. Now, people are religious minorities. Article 29 and 30 says, it is linguistic and religious. Now, the government has given benefits only to religious. Why not to me? I am a linguistic minority. I am declared by the constitution. It is not your prerogative. It is not some patronage. I am a minority. I should get the same. Because why? The constitution says so. And you can't dispute the constitution. So it is there. We accept it. So I think this is politics and to divide people. Sure. Narendra Modi has come to unite people. Say sabke saas, sabke vikas. And I believe in that. And thing is done. All the things that he has done there. People want to throw stones. So it is up to you to believe. You don't believe it is okay. Yeah. So I think this... Minority thing has been overplayed. And then they're painting India as intolerant. Is India intolerant? There are 200 million Muslims. Tell me one country where there are 200 million minority. There are 35 million Christians. And that great evangelist, converter, John Dayal said there are 70 million. You see his blog. So many people have been converted. They're all say crypto Christian because they're not coming out. Because they get benefit. They don't want, uh, they convert, they don't want the benefit. They're all playing a fraud on us. He says that. Now, will it happen in this country if you're not tolerant? We are the most tolerant country in the world. We accept the right. Unlike some people who say we tolerate you, we accept the right of everybody. As Hindus, we accept the right of everybody. Yeah. We don't force our views on you. So I think they, the minority should think about it. There's fierce accuracy being created by some people.